Hi everyone, welcome to another process video. I'm Jenny and let's get started. So right now I'm having a look through my um, collection from the Surf's Up scrap kit and uh, it's starting to dwindle down a little bit and each video you you have seen, you would have seen some of these sheets already and what I've um, chosen and what I've got left. So just trying to make my um, pick here and I think I'm going to go with that little grid paper there. Well it's not actually grid paper, it looks like a um, net or something. I have no idea. But it was a fun piece of paper and so I have decided to go with that. So that, I think that was a bow bunny piece and I know that I want to use that that little strip in the middle is from the same collection and I thought I would use that just to add a little bit of the blue from the clothing and put that into the background. So this is going to be another bright um, layout. It might be a layout that you think is way overdone, too much happening, um, but you know, that just seems to be what I do. So I have a problem stopping, and but that's okay. I'm happy with the end result, so that's all that matters. So those little strips there, I know that I wanted to use them. They were from the branding strips. So I cut them all apart and I um, decided not to let you sit there and watch that because that would be really boring. So here I am at the moment. I want to put a bit of color into the background to match that flower on the left. So I just squirted a little bit of lemon zest dilution spray ink onto a um, little bit of plastic packaging. I gave it a squirt with water as well just to water it down a little bit and placed it on the page and rubbed on with my hand. And so I just took it over to the side and um, hit that with the heat tool so that I could keep working. So that's just brought a bit of that yellow down on the left hand side because I really want to use that little die cut that I've had for a couple of years now. It was from a Kayser Craft collection and I wanted to use that in this layout. So there I am putting the strips down. They weren't how I originally had them but that's okay. I had placed them there just originally to see whether I would like the design idea and I did so I'm just laying them down and at this stage I have no idea where the layout's going um, but I, will, I know that I want those coloured strips and I know that I want to stick I found a sticker in um, that selection that I had looked through previously and I know that there was a sticker in there that had on it 10 things I love about you so I know that I want to incorporate that into the layout and grab some sticker selections of 10 things that I love about my kids. So those photos there that you can see, I found them today and they are of my kids, Johanna and Isaac, and they would have been roughly four and six, maybe five and six in that photo, and they are now 16 and 17. So these are really old photos, um, but they were ones that I had never scrapbooked before, and I've got them in a frame in my house but I just found these little ones and thought that it was a good time to put them in the album. So that's what I've done and okay so back to the layout. I, okay so I had placed that little stick sticker down, the 10 things I love about you and decided that I didn't really like it where I placed it. Pretty easy, just rip it back up. So I am down to using the last little elements on that sticker sheet that I used for the layout with the Highline collection and so I'm pretty happy with that. So I was able to use that big Hey speech bubble and I'm not sure where else I would use that on a layout but this one seemed very appropriate. So there I am committing to those strips and just putting a little bit of sticky tape behind them I haven't secured them all the way down on the on the ends just in case I want to tuck something under there. Um, so at the moment they, they're sticking up a little bit. But the photos I'm placing down, I don't want them to be even. The um, grid design that you see on the background is crooked. Um, so I didn't want the photos to be placed 
um, in an even row because then they would just look wrong. So I'm going with the fact that the grid is uneven and the photos have just placed all uneven as well. So there I am just putting some foam tape behind that yellow flower cut apart with the little red berries and that gives the page a little bit of dimension so it's not so flat because it will have a lot of flat elements on this layout so that just gives um, a little bit of interest there. So now you'll see me going through the stickers. Oh actually I'm just cutting off the branding strip and because the, the grid went nearly all the way onto the branding strip I couldn't actually figure out where to start cutting so I just pulled out the um, paper trimmer and I could measure 12 inches and knew that I was cutting off the right amount. So there I am, I have looked at the page and decided that I would like to mat it on something so I'm just seeing whether I want to put it on a little bit of blue but then I thought that some of the photos, two of the photos on the ends had a lot of black in them so I thought I would balance the black of the grid pattern and the photos and just um, add a little black mat to that. So here I am just trimming off a quarter of an inch off the top and a quarter of an inch off the side, one side, and then I'll put some sticky tape on the back and mat that. So I had a little bit of buckling from when I added the um, spray mist and the water, so I'm using some heavy duty double sided um, sticky tape for sections of the layout here to help it lay a little bit more flat. So I didn't gut the middle out this time of the black cardstock. I decided to keep that in there and um, yeah, and that would help it to flatten down a little bit and give the give it something to stick to. So there I am just trying to get that piece straight and just measuring with my eye around the, the edges, trying to get it as um, even as possible. So I quite like that little black mat. Oh, and I had to flip over my craft mat as well because I usually work on the black side and I had, with the black cardstock, I couldn't see anymore where the um, layout ended and the mat begun. So I just flipped it over and now I'm working on the pink side. So just going through the sticker sheets and just got a little bit of um, baking paper there and because I'm not sure where I want to put a couple of them some I'll just adhere straight down but some I'm not sure so it's easy just to place it on a little bit of um, greaseproof paper and do it that way so this sticker sheet, this little sticker they were really really thin stickers so I knew that if I placed them down there was no way they would come back. They were very thin and very sticky pieces and I couldn't quite get that one to work. So I found a sticker there up the top so it says 10 things I love about you and that one says you are one in a million. So I'm just going through all the little stickers and what's that? That one says make me smile so later on I put a little you above that the you make me smile. So just looking to see if there were any that had any words that could be describing words. So I look through each sticker sheet lots of times in case there was something I missed the first time. So that little one says you are strong, you are smart, you are great, you are kind. So that was about one, two, three, four, five in one but I just used that as one cute little speech bubble there, you're the best. So this has been a good um, way to use up some of those sticker sheets and I, I've not really used sticker sheets a lot before so I'm actually quite impressed with how versatile they are and how um, far you can take them and how many different collections you can actually use them with. So um, that was a big today sticker but I looked on the sticker sheet and saw that there was one that said every day. So 10 things I love about you every day, not just on that particular day. And one of the stickers I stuck down the bottom there while I was talking um, says we are so happy together. So I love spending time with my kids, loved being a mum. 
love watching them grow up and still enjoy their company now as teenagers. They're awesome kids and I am a blessed mum. Okay, so where are we going to now? Okay, some more little stickers. Trying to add some different colours in. Um, not trying to keep it all the same. So I think I stick a little bit of foam tape on that one. I end up ripping it off um, later on because it, it was sitting a little bit too high and didn't really like it on the page. But for now, I've just put it there and we're going to go with it. I can't quite see what that one says, if it's the best or love, because I actually end up moving it around. I think it says the best, and then I realised when I scooted it over just then, it was actually next to the speech bubble that already said you're the best. So down the bottom I just placed a sticker that said loved, so I end up moving positions for both of those. So now I'm just putting the little numbers on of those little sticker sheets there from my mind's eye and I'm counting the numbers. You would have seen me pointing a lot of times to them. I was counting how many have I got. I actually think I've got about 12 little stickers on there. If I filled, out, filled in some little gaps and places. But that's okay. I don't know that anyone's really going to count and say, you've got more than 10, better remove one. I think it will be okay. So that little one there was number 10, perfection. They are perfect in my eyes. Well, they're not perfect, but I love them anyway. Unconditional love of a parent. All right, so that little sticker, I pulled it there, I go, taking the foam tape off, and I pulled the little sticker off, but the sticky back came on. I thought it could sit on, but it didn't. So luckily I had another little number six on that. So trying to incorporate some pink up there, but it didn't work. So I pulled it off and luckily it would just go back on. So there you go, done the swapperoo now, put the loved up there and put the best down the bottom so that it's not clashing with you're the best and then the best. So having a bit of a look, seeing if there's anything else that I can add. Finally putting that every day down. Deciding that I'm not going to tuck anything under there. Actually, I tried to tuck a little yellow um, cut apart. Um, I thought I might like to layer a few little things, but it didn't look good. So it was too much, adding way too much to the layout. So I started to, decided to quit while I was ahead. So just popping some more foam underneath um, that little hay banner. It was a, um, a little bit flat on the side, so I propped that up. And putting that sticker on some foam tape, but in the end I decided that it didn't really go and left me a place for my ink splatters. So oh, here I am doing that little label that I decided not to use. So at the end with this one, um, I didn't do any close-ups because my battery went flat. So it wasn't until um, that I actually put... Um, the video onto the computer ready to um, do the processing that I realized that it wasn't in there so I'm sorry about that and hopefully you have been able to get a good enough um, look during the process to see what the end result looks like there is one still but I haven't figured out how to keep the photo there long enough yet um, it seems to be a pretty quick showing of the photo and then it's finished so using some of those brads that I used yesterday, good time to use them all. But I would add a little bit of dimension to the page as there, there are quite a few flat elements. So this gives another point of interest. So once again, I couldn't find my little pokey tool. So I have just attacked the page with a craft knife. Which actually worked out well anyway as the paper had the um, thickness of the paper and the black cardstock. So that is all good, but you just get to see me poke around. There's no rhyme or reason again where I'm putting things, just having a look and seeing what looks a bit blank or what needs a little something and just decide to go with that. So it was actually good using the brads and getting rid of some of them from my stash. 
like I said yesterday or the other day, I don't love them. I don't hate them either. They're just a little bit more time consuming. So I would buy them again and use them again if I love them. If I really love the collection, I wouldn't be against it. So putting the last little ones in, last three there in the cluster. And then it's time to do the um, paint splatters. So thank you so much for joining me again today. And I hope that you're enjoying the videos. Once again, thank you for everyone who has subscribed to me. Thank you for all of your likes and thank you for all of your comments. They're not the reason that I do the process videos, but they are a nice encouragement and it is nice to see that people are liking them and wanting me to do more. So that's a bonus. So I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.